Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I was going to talk about something else at first, but given certain circumstances that have been discussed recently, um, IRL uh, with me, I felt that it might be kind of nice to discuss the topic we're going to be talking about today. So, at a point in the past, Pink Fox had talked about relation, uh, relationships amongst step parents, step children, just, you know, step family in general. And I found it very wise what she had said. Um, I want to expand on that to other individuals as well. Not just family but relationship type individuals in general. And I know I've discussed this on the channel before, but not the thing I'm talking about doesn't directly have to do with how you treat the relationship itself, but more what you get from it. In life, everyone's always going to find some kind of relationship type individual who will treat the person poorly and well I'm sure all of us who have reached whatever age you are past um, puberty you've probably experienced it at some point or another if not well you will and the sad thing about any kind of relationship is the factor that there's always going to, as I said, that one person who will treat you very, very poorly. If not, there will be multiple. Getting into a relationship of any kind, and this has been said by many, requires commitment, but from both ends. It's Relationships are one of the reasons why I personally follow the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Um, but recent circumstances, a very, the most uh, recent widely known holiday that was celebrated was Father's Day, which is actually when this is being recorded. An event happened today um, while Pink Fox and I were out that made Pink Fox want to be alone because she was being reminded of an event of her past, which I'm not going to get into because it's not my place. Um, but it was someone she had some, she had some type, to a very big degree, but at the same not, um, of a relationship with. And... The whole scenario of the what I'm referring to kind of was reminisced on while the day was bypassing, while we were doing the event. And I actually, before recording this, a Pink Fox actually went out and did some um, DoorDash and the later video from today, like what I usually do, was actually recorded before uh, this one, and after I finished that, I actually called to check up on her, and she still had the events on her mind. I will be very vague about what I'm referring to, but I'm not going to go into detail. She's not the only one I've come across to do this, but her birth father was not a good person. And because of this, it impacted her and her brother and her mom in a very negative way for a very long time. Now, this is kind of where I core on what I want to talk about today. to be very cautious about how you go about these relationships. And if you are, even 
when you hit these negative circumstances, even to the degree that I'm referring to, which is very, very, very bad, you can end up having a very good outcome. A good example of this is actually uh, Pink Fox's mom. Um, after the events of that, well, she, she was still, she, she ended up, you know, divorcing the man, as she should have in the first place. I understand why she did it, though, and I'm not going to go into detail about that. That is th that is where I have to draw the line, because that is definitely not for me to discuss. But after the events of that led to a line of events that made this woman so much stronger than she would have been if she didn't go through these events, not to mention a lot wiser, too. Everybody goes through these kind of things, though. That is just one example of several I can provide. And I'm not going to do that. This one just hit closest to me just because it's coming. It, it's an event that impacted my life. So being as vague as I can, I figured that would be a good example to share. However, there are so many circumstances out there where people get impacted in a negative way by the action of relationships, the response really does make a difference in the future. At the current moment, admittedly, when it's happening, even I'm willing to admit that, no, you're, it's going to be a large struggle. But your response over time can really impact you as a person. It has for me. In the past, I will use my own personal example for something that's happened to me, and I brought this up almost a year and a half ago by now, I believe. There was someone I dated who I found cheated on me and caused me to break. If it wasn't for my parents, I don't know where I'd be right now, actually. Um, after the events of that, um, I was very close to pretty much dismissing the idea of even trying a relationship, but I left one singular instruction for myself. I kept a close eye on personality types and how actions meant a lot specific terms can too, but actions say a lot more. Um, I looked at situations and went, unless this person pretty much thinks exactly the same way I do, to a degree where the other minor things could be just bypassed or talked about, I'm not even going to try. And Pink Fox was that person. She's been that person ever since, well, ever since I met her. Over time, she has actually adapted into matching me even more than she already did. And I try to do the same with her. Because, again, golden rule. But the individual who I was with prior to this mindset did not do any of that. And it, the way I took it in... I could barely handle it, and that retraction, well, it was an in-the-moment thing. I look back on it now, and I was like, you know what? She can live her own life. I just don't want any part of it. Because of that mindset, I am very, I look dead serious, and some people have pointed out the whole idea that what's shown here is different from how you act IRL. A lot of people think this to be true as well. For me... It really depends on the day, but for the most part, it's actually not true. Because it's more of an in-the-moment emotion. And the way I look at the relationship I have with Pink Fox, with Amber, um, I am very happy with it. I always will be. And because of the shift of my mindset within the past year or so, Admittedly, it has 
two different faults impacted other people in different types of ways, and I'm trying to make sure things get balanced back in simultaneously, but reaction response to relationships can do a lot for you. But it depends on how you take it in the long haul. It's the reason I'm happy with, with what I have now. Because everyone who I do have now has never given up on me. And uh, that's per personal self. Something I'm grateful for. So, for all of you out there who come across this video, whether it's in the distant future or the day it uploads, if you're struggling with something just because of other individuals, some of you, that individual may be me. I've caused problems in the past, and I'm willing to admit my faults. Um, but, and I try to correct that. Sometimes it takes a lot of time for me. But if it's not me, it's someone else or whoever it might be. Just don't give up. For me, the most recent things where it has been my fault, I've had to take a step back. Especially when it has a giant, giant had it, the more recent one I can think of had an extremely giant impact on me. To the point where I was like, yeah, I need to take a step back, observe literally everything like I would normally do, and alter the parts that should have stayed where they were before that happened. Like, and I'm trying to do that. Admitting my faults, yes, here. And I've actually, I think I've verbally said this as well. Um, my faults kind of go to a degree that where people can assume that it comes from other outer sources when it doesn't. But, I mean, the way I am sometimes, I don't blame that. Regardless, before I go too much on a tangent on that, if it is someone else, well, why? Why did it happen? Look out for people who act that way. If it's like a relationship, like what... A pink fox and I have. Look out for that. And if the person acts in any kind of way of those signs of the last, forget it. Be friends with them. Don't bail on them. But use the strength you gained from the previous individual. The knowledge you gained. And if it's a friend, if it's a friend who has screwed you over in the past and you try to look for another friend group, Bear in mind what you learned from the past friend group and look at it that way. If it's for some messed up reason, a family member who has done it. Why? What was the purpose? If there was no purpose whatsoever, or if there was no reasoning or excuse that may at least have some kind of logical explanation behind it, what changed it? What, when you look at every tiny, teeny, tiny detail, not just numbers or not just visuals, but every teeny tiny detail. What changed that? Adaption, I found, can actually help that. But adapt to it, but don't change yourself. Never change who you are for the sake of another person. But definitely keep an eye out for the kind of people who are around. For the longest time, it, 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 I'm 28 years old, and it took me 10 years to solidify the exact category of individual that I would like to be around and the exact category of individual I would like to be. And that's all thanks to the past experiences that I've had with other individuals of different categories and their negative actions towards me. Take a step back and observe for yourself. That is probably the best way you can go about it. And then what the negative stuff you see, tell yourself, don't look for that. I will not do that either. You get a better result that way. But with that being said, I'm going to leave this here. Um, th this was a handful to talk about. A handful of words to bring out, I guess, would be a better term, just because of the fact that 
This happens to people a lot more often than not, sometimes just because of loneliness or sometimes because of desperation. But sometimes it could just be because they're not, you know, they haven't figured anything out for themselves yet. Find yourself in the process. You'll be fine. Hang on to something too long, something negative for too long, and it might impact you in a bad way, unless you have a rail to hold on to. Metaphorically, literally, in other words, needing someone to help you realize why that can help you. That's the reason I've been able to get this far, because I've always had someone to help me realize that. Be the person who can absorb the bad and exert it into good. Because that will benefit you the most. Again, with that being said, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I hope this video helped anybody out there who's struggling um, to help lift themselves up. I've actually met a few people who have, and I hope if you guys see this, I hope it helped. And if you're not in that spot anymore, then I hope you're doing well. However, outside of that, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you liked what I had to say, or if you have anything else you'd like to add, um, or if you want anything else heavily discussed like this, let us know in the comments below. I'm sure any of us at this point, uh, as part of this channel's group, would be very happy to talk about it. Um, as long as they know enough about that category. But if you want to check out any other discussion and rants, click the link on the side of my head over Mia where it'll show, who knows, quite the variety at this point of different video types that all discuss or rant about random different topics, whether psychological or not. But if that doesn't quite float your boat and you stuck around to this point in the video, well, first of all, thank you. <laughs> but second of all, why not click a link on this side where you may find something that might float your boat a bit better. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and we hope to catch you guys all in another. See you guys later.